All right, so uh, you saw the process we went through in uh, coming up with ideas. We went to Google Trends. We identified, we asked questions like for Kenya, how to, and found some answers. We, others, we asked the price of. Others, we asked how much is. Others, we asked uh, for sale, so that we can have a bit of ideas of what are people Googling online, what are the trends, what are most people looking for, what are most people selling, right? Uh, what did that allow us to do? It allowed us to have like the opportunistic business idea. So one that we saw was, you know, an online electronic shop where we could create an online platform and sell electronics, right? The second was an online pickup truck selling platform exclusively for pickup trucks. And that is something where, because we saw that there were people who were looking for price of pickups, right? And then we saw people were looking for things around sex. Uh, so they were asking questions like, how can I make a man cry in bed? Uh, so that made us think that if we make an ebooks on sex, we could be able to sell. Uh, raw materials for making sanitizers. People were saying things like, how can I make, how to make sanitizers, right? So that made us think of raw materials. And then uh, baking, people wanted to learn how to learn how to bake. One of the things we searched for was how to start. So people were look, uh, looking for how to start a bakery and how to start a farm. So we saw we can make baking business masterclasses or a farming business masterclass. So this was, and people were learning, we wanted to learn how to brand themselves, people wanted to learn how to make money. So we saw that in terms of what we search online, this is what most people were looking for, and these are the business opportunities that we came up with. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna go and eliminate them according to our own evaluation. Now here, uh, this is where now we ask ourselves, what are the problems in society? What are the challenges that people are facing and that we can be able to, you know, like see which business opportunities are there? So one of the things we saw was right now there's a very low purchasing power in Kenya and in many different places because many people have been laid off. You know, the economic situation is not so well because of the pandemic and all. So what is that leading to a lot of business closure, a lot of people losing their jobs and, you know, possible social unrest? Right, so uh, banks also are not lending to SMEs because now they're very risky. So that creates a lot of you know unemployment, layoffs, uh, you know, increase in alternative lending. So lots of Shylocks. Uh, there's people who are now taking their money and lending at you know exorbitant rates. And then there's nonprofits are losing money because they can't raise money. So a lot of nonprofits are closing because of lack of fun, funds, you know, from their donors or not. So then uh, there's also a lot of wastage in terms of agricultural products. So that's also something we saw as a problem. So we thought a business training program online and offline is an opportunity, right? Uh, for training new business owners and existing business owners how to you know, grow their businesses, how to settle their businesses. Business counseling. So this is more like coaching, individual coaching for business owners is an opportunity that we saw. Uh, small SME loans. Uh, whereas we could take our own money and loan it to other people uh, at, at maybe better rates than what they're getting from the Shylocks and the banks. Uh, Agribusiness training, so that's an opportunity we've seen, uh, which you know comes here as well. Uh, agric storage, so for avoiding wastage, so we can do agro storage, and then processing of agricultural products. Um, so that's something that we've also thought about, and then a hiring agency and a security agency. So so far, here we have how many ideas? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all in all, we have 16 ideas, right? 16 business ideas. And what we want to do is we want to reduce that to three maximum, like what I asked you earlier. So what are we going to do? We're going to look at myself. Since I am the business owner here, I'm the one who's going to start the business. What are my strengths, right? So if I think of my own strengths, uh, and, and my specialty. So we're going to do the sport analysis and the sore analysis, right? And we're going to be very basic, but I would advise you to go very specifically, right? So in terms of sports, uh, so specialties and here in terms of strengths, one of my strengths is I am uh, very good at teaching and training and coaching in entrepreneurship. So that's one of my strengths, right? So one of my biggest strengths is 
I'm a very good trainer, I'm a very good coach, I'm a very good teacher in entrepreneurship, so business. So anything which is related to business, I have the skills and the abilities to train people, right? So that's one. Specialties, I would say the same thing, right? One of my specialties is I'm a trainer, I specialize in business training, I specialize in business and, uh, innovation, business development, etc. So one of my specialties is business development. Right? So that's one of my specialties. That's something I'm very good at. Right? Uh, opportunities that exist for me right now in terms of, you know, in this space is that there's a lot of uh, uh, business closure. So there's a lot of need for training. Right? There's need for training. That's an opportunity, right? Uh, that is out there for me. That there's a lot of people who need training. You need training, right? You apply for the Ali training because you need training. Uh, and then there's a lot of business owners who need training. So that's an opportunity for me. Um, in terms of what problem exists in society right now is uh, lots of business closure, right? So I've seen that. Business are closing down. Uh, high level of unemployment, right? So these are problems within my field. In business development right now, there's a lot of businesses that are struggling. Uh, aspirations. What are my aspirations? So in this case, we're talking about what is my current aspiration is I want to increase my income, right? So let's say I want to increase my income to earn what? An extra $5,000 per month. So that's just an example, right? So I want to earn an extra $5,000 per month, right? So that's my aspiration. Yours could be whatever it is, but it's good to know. Some other aspirations could be much bigger, others could be much smaller, but that's your aspiration, right? And then the results, what are the results? The results for me, when I look at this, would be what? Is that I have uh, a training, an online training program, right? That generates $5,000 in profits, Per month right so this is the result I would like to achieve so if in six months I can be able to create let's say an online training program for business where I can earn five thousand dollars per month right that for me is a good business right uh, but also here in one of my strengths is I'm also a very good business leader right I'm also a very good business leader right and then when I think of the opportunities that are in front of me, all of these are opportunities, right? Now, and when I think of the income, I, I, the aspiration I want to make, I could say, let me put it here between three and 5,000, right? So I want to earn between three and 5,000. That's my aspiration. And then the result is uh, online training or side, uh, side business. That's a side business. Right, that doesn't require a lot of my time. That I put a little bit of input in and I earn three thousand dollars per month. That's something else, that's another metric for me, right? In terms of opportunities, I would say the same, right? So, opportunities are all these opportunities. The results that I'm looking for, I would say the same, right? Either an online training business where I earn five thousand dollars in profits per month, or uh, a side business that gives me three thousand dollars in profits per month, right. Uh, and the timelines, let me say, I'll give myself six months. Okay, so that's six months. So I've used this as a metric for me to identify which businesses fall within my space, right? And so let me go now to each business and see how I can eliminate them. So let's start with business training. So that's something I can do, right? Business training I can do, so I'll take this. I'll keep this one. Uh, business counseling is something I can also do. Let me take this. Uh, SME loans, no, because SME loans requires other things than just business skills. My strength is not in finance. I don't have a financial background. So I'll need to have someone in my team that can do that type of finance. So that's something that I'm going to eliminate, right? That's something that I'm going to eliminate uh, here. Let me see, this I'll eliminate, right? Uh, Agribusiness training I can do, right? That's something I can do. Agricultural storage, I can, but it doesn't fall within this, this space because agricultural storage means you can't just store. And then if you're storing, 
you're going to have to have a lot of more resources. So you have to have the storage, then you have to have the security, then you have to be able to, to sell, right? So there's a whole part of agricultural selling there, which maybe not so much something that, you know, I, I, I would see myself being able to do and make that money in the next six months, but it's an opportunity. Uh, processing agricultural products. So that's something that's interesting because uh, that's something that I can do. I have equipment, I have 